Okay, this is my freestyle blank journal. It's all glued like all of my freestyles. This one's a hardcover. It's made with cardstock and layers of paper. Nothing really in this book. Some journaling spots, all removable. It is as blank as blank can get. We got some bulb pins, flip outs, altered paper clip, which you can alter further. It is intended for this book to be finished by somebody else. And it was very hard to put down because it's a lot of fun. This has double pockets back here, deep pockets, tag, and a tag, and a button closure, or whatever they're called. More flip outs, a variety of sizes of papers. All perfect for journaling and doodling and your artwork. Nice heavy pages. This is a cool little feature here. This opens up. If I can do it, of course. Because I want to do it, I can't do it. It just opens up. There's five little layers right there. That you can put a note on. Now the bulb pen journaling spots in here, a tag, more journaling spots. It's a pretty blank book. Somebody's going to have a blast finishing it. An old shopping bag. This is lots of journaling spots. An airmail envelope. Another cardstock page. This one is just a pocket. Another flip out. There's a few flip outs in this one. Lots and lots of places for you to get busy and break it up. I know this comes apart somehow. Oh, two pages, that's why. Library card, another altered paper clip for you to finish. Another button closure. This one is just open. Then you have a shipping envelope. Some papers have, um, what do you want to call them, staining on them, like this one here. And a little tinge of blue. I know there's some in here with the tinges of red. But they're all stained or naturally aged. This is another shipping envelope, but we altered it. And in here I have, what do you want to call it, oh, come out. Two watercolor papers that are somewhat stained, but can be fun to play with. And then the back of the book. It is very, very plain. I hope whoever purchased it has a great imagination. Thank you.